The Astrodome in Houston, Texas, the world's first and only air-conditioned dome stadium, where in just a few moments, the largest crowd ever to see a college basketball game will watch the nation's two top teams meet in the sports spectacular of the year. 44-37, that turned out to be a three-point play, and Al Sindor sends the ball around the iron and through. Lou has nine points. It is 44-39. I think just to me, it's amazing that Lou Alcindor can even play tonight after what he's been through the past week with the eye injury, four days in the hospital, not playing in nine days. Yes, Lou. 44 Hayes has 30 points. He's evenly matched in almost all departments with the single star thus far, Elvin Hayes. The Bruins with 55 seconds left. Trail by a basket. They get it to Alcindor, who feeds to Allen. Allen. Off to Alcindor. Oh, and Houston almost came up with it. Allen is hacked and a foul on Ken Spain, number 14. Who knew it? He has three personal fouls. And think of the pressure on Lucius Allen. I guarantee you, this is the toughest situation that a basketball player can be in. Free throws in the last part of a ball game. You need them both to tie. He coolly drops in the first one. It's 69-68. This one would tie it. And then it will be Houston's chance. It finds a friendly home for Bruin fans. It's 69-69. Two tremendous pressure free throws by Lucius Allen. What a great, great player in a tough situation came through. 35 seconds. That's Lee to Hayes. Blocked by Nielsen, but he fouled him in the process. Jim Nielsen picks up the personal foul, and now it's Elvin Hayes with the pressure. Jim Nielsen had both hands on the ball, but he fouled Elvin Hayes with his body. Third personal, and there you see the time, 28 seconds. The score is 69-69. Hayes steps to the line. He has already accounted for 37 of Houston's points. They love the big A, and he has broken the tie and has a little thought. It's 71-69 with 28 seconds remaining. 25. Traveling against Spain of Houston. The Cougars had come up with a ball, but Spain skidded to a stop, and the Bruins get second life. Shackleford. 19 seconds. Allen, 17 seconds. Houston leads by two. Oh, Warren deflects it away from Shackelford. It'll go to Houston. And that could be the ball game. Timeout, Houston. Houston, of course, will try to kill the 12 seconds and hold the ball and run the clock out. UCLA must gamble. They must press. They're two points down with 12 seconds to go. Hayes with the ball. It's the hound and the dogs. Three seconds. 